Okay, so welcome back here everybody. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at how we can go ahead and present our characters and our renders um, to our project managers or our uh, project lead so that they can um, approve or you know tell you what to fix if you have a problem or um, if something isn't looking correct. So let's go ahead here and load our fish one into ZBrush here. And we just want this fish one final. And I'm just using um, fish one here as an example. I'm not going to go ahead and do all of them. Uh, I'm just going to use the the first one here to as an example to show you what's going on. So let's go ahead and drag that out. Go ahead and bring that in. And I've already gone ahead and created materials um, in a render setup for us. So all you're going to need to do to go ahead and load that in, uh, just put it in your ZBrush folder um, or even in your Z project folder and it's the SPK render set. Okay, so we need to come in here and make sure that we click into the rendering setup. This is our light material, but we what we want to go ahead and do is we want to load our material first and it's going to be this SPK render mat. Um, I do believe it's three or four, so we'll go ahead and just double click that to load it. So you can see where the model uh, changes materials jump back one folder to go ahead and load the light because this light the material and the light cap all go together to go ahead and render here so just open up our light cap slot here we'll just double click our light, light cap folder double click our SPK gray present, uh, presentation 2 which is our light cap okay so our model is completely ready to uh, come in and be rendered and before we do anything else, what I want to go ahead and do is hit the anti-alias half size. This way it's going to capture all that detail. I'm just going to open this so I can throw my render uh, settings in here. Okay. And I don't want to be so straight on. I want to at least have a little bit of a side here. Okay, so I'll go ahead and grab my render information. Go ahead and pull this over. Render properties. Turn our details up to three so we capture all of those details turn on our ambient occlusion, our depth Q, soft RGB, our soft Z. We'll come down here to our shadow. We don't want the shadow to be so heavy so I'm going to turn the uh, intensity down here a fairly large amount. Our ambient occlusion I'm going to turn up to 1. Our rays to 1500 or the resolution to 1500 I'm sorry. Our rays to about 60 our anti-aliasing, I'm going to change the size up to 8, the super sample to 3. I don't want to go to 4 because if I go to 4 it's going to take a, an excessively long time. Our depth cue here, we're going to turn the intensity uh, to about 74, 75. Uh, change the softness um, completely up and that's about it. So let's come up here to our BPR render pass, turn our sharp uh, up to about 67 or 70 and the S pixels up to 7 as you can see there. I'm going to go ahead and hit BPR here and this is going to take a little bit of time to go ahead and render out so once I hit the BPR I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and then whenever it's done I'll uh, come back and show you how we can go ahead and get this image out to take it into Photoshop and just basically crop off um, the excess details. So. We go ahead and hit BPR here. And you can see that this is definitely going to take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and pause. Okay, so now that our render has pretty much finished here, I'm just going to go ahead and with the, the screen up, I'm going to hold down Control, Alt, Print Screen. This way we're going to be able to copy this image over into Photoshop. Just create a new image, and it'll uh, take the image size that you've Control, Alted, and Print Screened. Okay, go ahead and hit Control V so that the image gets pasted into that image size. And we're just going to select the marquee tool here. Take the area. Okay, and we're going to hit select. Inverse. I'm going to delete everything off. Hit Control C. Well, just Control select the layer one here. Hit Control C. And I'll go ahead and post this into a new image and you can actually see there that that didn't necessarily work. Okay, so we'll just select select this. If 
we can actually control select here okay and go ahead and post this into a new image okay so you can see now where that's capturing all of that detail but it 636 by 605 that's a fairly small image so I'm just going to go ahead and resolution it up to about 3250 so now you can see definitely where we're getting more of a um, better image here and at this point you can just go ahead and save and then just show your uh, production manager your project manager your your fish images and so that's an easy way to go ahead and concept out characters and present your models um, for approval so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the tutorial where we made six different um, concepts of characters quickly inside of ZBrush using our um, base geometry that we created inside of ZBrush um, definitely keep an eye on the website for more tutorials in the future and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it so see you later